As quickly as possible, I'm gonna run you guys through my DJI Mavic Air settings for filmmaking. These are the settings that have worked best for me. Everybody's different, but a few of you guys have been asking what my settings are, so here's a quick rundown. So we'll hop into the control panel here and we'll go into our video settings and take a look. You'll see I'm shooting always in manual mode instead of auto. Um, I find auto mode basically if you're constantly panning and flying around, it's gonna be changing exposure and it's just not gonna look professional. It's important to basically be in manual mode whenever you can, switch it over to manual. And what that means is you need to monitor the shutter speed here. Um, you'll also see the zebra stripes on my screen and the way to do that, basically anything that's striped right here is overexposed. You turn that on by going to the settings, click the gear in the top right and you click on overexposed and it'll show you which areas of your frame are overexposed. Very important tool. And then also have the histogram on, which is this graph over here, which shows you how evenly your shot is exposed. And ideally you want everything in between the left and the right side. Anything, if it's right now it's underexposed, as you can see, everything's too far to the left. Um, and if things were too far to the right, that means it's overexposed. So next up, we will open up the panel here, go back to the main settings. Basically, I have my video size always 4K, 30 frames, 30 frames per second. Um, that's my personal favorite. Sometimes I modify that footage and convert it down to 24 frames, slows it down a little bit in Premiere. Um, and next up, we have the video format. Uh, there's not really a quality difference between MP4 and MOV. Uh, MOV was made by Apple, I believe. So if you're using an Apple product, there is a debate whether MOV plays back better. That's why I leave mine in MOV, but either of these formats should do fine. White balance, it's important not to leave your white balance on auto because it might be changing throughout your shoot or mid shot, which we definitely don't want. So choose your scene, basically it's pretty basic, sunny, cloudy, inside with incandescent bulbs, fluorescent, you know, or just set it custom if you're feeling good, but I usually just use the sunny or cloudy white balances. And then style, uh, I have it on custom and I have sharpness at minus two because I don't like when the image looks really sharp and kind of overly processed. Contrast at minus two and then whatever that last little thing is, I think it's like hue or something. I just leave that at zero and it shouldn't be an issue. And then basically color profile, Cine like D because that's what I shoot on on my Panasonic GH5. So why not match it? And you also get a little bit more data when you shoot in Cine D mode. So highly recommend doing that. That just means that when you go to color grade your images from your drone, you're gonna have a bit more room to play around. Um, for color grading my drone stuff, I use my GH5 LUT pack. There's a few LUTs in there that specifically work well for the drone, like the Baja LUT. Uh, you can check that out in the description below. Anyways, let me know if you have any questions. This is just how I set up my drone for filmmaking, my DJI Mavic Air. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and I will see you guys in the next video.